Gen C. I've watched your CC1 and I've watched a lot of your speeches and then I went off to the UK expecting that you would finish your CC by the time I come back and you still haven't finished your CC. <laughs> That's fine. It's good to take your time and I feel that you've improved. Even though you haven't done many speeches over the past year, you've improved tremendously, especially in terms of your speed, in terms of your stage composure, how you handle yourself on the stage and how you speak. You speak a lot more fluently now. And I think that's a great, great, uh, good job to you. And guys, could you please give them a round of applause? <laughs> Your objective for this speech were to select an appropriate type of visual aid and to use it confidently and with ease. I'll get to that in a bit. But firstly, from your previous projects, have you mastered the skills? Your speech was well, well organized. Good job. It had a clear purpose, good job. You showed vocal variety, your vocals were good, good job. In terms of body language, there are things that you need to consider, but I thought your facial expressions and your hand gestures they were very good, they added meaning to the speech, and that was great, good job to you. And last but not least, language. The use of language, I feel that you need to improve your grammar a little bit. Another thing that I really like about Jane is the fact that he started his speech with a question which immediately engaged everyone. And then he went back to the question, and he re-engaged everyone. So good job on that. In terms of your slides, I'll get to that in a bit. What I liked about it, and probably the only thing that I liked about your slides, was it wasn't a messy slide. You, you didn't have too much information. You had good amounts of white space. So that's what we call a white space in the slides. And that was good. Where you can improve. First of all, you don't have to say the topic. The topic is right there. You don't have to say your name. She just introduced you. So, use words economically. If you don't have to say it, don't say it. In terms of stage presence, st st in terms of body language, most of the time you, behind, you were behind the lectern. And you were there because you wanted to change a slide. Why not just use a presenter? Or a one of those USB uh, mouses, if they can just Go to the next slide. So next time when you have slides, use a presenter so you can come out of the lectern and you can show some body language as well. In terms of your slide, I would like to see less words on the slides and replace words with images that represent the same meaning. And in terms of the way you behave with the slides, I thought that you were just looking back at the slides quite a bit. So try to maintain eye contact with the audience at all times. The way you could start the speech was, well, you could bring this conversation that you had in the end, you could just put that in the top. You can always start your speech with something imaginary or some vivid imagery. The conversation that you had with your mom could start the speech, and it was very engaging. And what I felt was that as soon as you left the lecture, you gave up on the slide, you came here, your speaking skills went from here to there. So next time, don't stay behind the lectern, use a presenter, and use the visual aids with ease. Another one thing that I'd like to remind you, the manual requires you to use two different types of visual aids. So I thought if you were brought to harmonica here and played a little bit for us, that would have been very good. I would have really enjoyed it. But you, had, you were supposed to use two of them, but you only used one. So keep that in mind. But I think, so far, you've improved tremendously. You've shown great promise. And keep up the passion, keep up the hard work, and you will become a superstar as well. Back to you. Thank you.